Hi guys, Mark here. Tonight we are talking water sensors with your smart home. So this is the AirTech water sensor. Now why do you need a water sensor with your smart home? I've heard that question before, but let me tell you, if you've ever lived in an apartment, it's a good idea. Uh, if you have children and a two-story house, it's also a good idea. And, and I can probably think of a few more like if you have a basement that floods, also a good idea. Why is that? Well, this little bad boy can sit anywhere on the floor, and as soon as you have a water leak, boom, the alarm goes off, your smartphone gets a notification that you have a water leak. So an example is when we lived in Vancouver, we were on the 22nd floor of an apartment building and they started doing some law changes which said that they would not cover water damage anymore in a lot of uh, insurance companies across Canada. And the reason is obviously if you're on an upper floor, whether that's the 4th, the 5th or the 55th, if you happen to leave a towel in the uh, sink and it floods and then it goes through your floor to the next floor to the next floor to the next floor to the next floor, the next floor uh, you could do a lot of damage, very expensive damage uh, to an apartment building and so it wasn't really a popular choice for insurance companies to continue to cover such heavy losses. Uh, other examples, as I've just mentioned, are uh, when people have bathrooms upstairs, maybe you've got kids and they leave a towel in the sink, but the water's still running, that overflows, and before you know it, you have got a little bit of water dripping through the roof. True story, it happened to me. The AirTech Water Sensor 6 is designed to cover you in all the events that I have aforementioned. Uh, and so this little Z-Wave Plus device connects to your smart home network, whether you have a uh, smart things, uh, or a home assistant, or an open hub, or a Hubitat, or any of these Z-Wave devices, uh, hubs that you can buy. Um, this should pair with them quite well. I thought tonight it might be quite fun to, uh, I'll unbox it and show you that really quickly so you can see what it looks like and then I will pair it to the Samsung smartphone very quickly so you don't get bored. And then what I thought we could do is actually play with a little bit of water and see if we can trigger this thing so I can demonstrate to you how it works and why it's so simple but so effective. So the unboxing is uh, really quite simple. There's not a lot to the uh, device. You'll see me uh, review quite a few AirTech devices because I'm quite a big fan of theirs. Um, there's a little battery pull. Yes, I have opened this already. It's not a, uh, a brand new box. There is a little battery pull in there as well. Now, it's quite a, a, a hefty little brick. Uh, and as you can see on the front there, you've got a, uh, a light, um, a, a little alarm speaker, and you can see these little tiny little feet here, these little steel feet. And it's those little feet that will be sitting in the water uh, when the alarm goes off to tell you that stuff ain't right. Um, of course, with AirTech devices, if I can show that to you, uh, when you press things, you get lights. Obviously, I've just pressed that, which is the pairing button, so now it's trying to pair, but obviously I don't have the smart things uh, hub ready. So I will open up my phone, we'll do a very quick pairing, uh, because I know most of you are quite confident with that with smart things uh, and then we'll put it in the uh, plate thing pour some water on it we'll, we'll see what happens okay so we'll jump into the app I will open the smart things app and then I'm just going to go up to the plus to add a new device and then I will select device and then with this one I'm going to type in uh, water sensor 6 which is that one from AirTech select that. That's obviously going to get everything ready to uh, be set up and then I'll click start and I will say that it's going to be in the garage and it's going to connect to the SmartThings hub. Next. And now I'm going to press the pairing button. So this is going to flash green and that means we are good to go. Now we're just going to wait for SmartThings to catch up. Right, there we go. Water sensor, water sensor is back to normal, clearly. It's already had some experience. I haven't actually paired this before. I did unbox it, but I didn't pair it. All right, so now we go, successfully connected, and now we are done. Wasn't that easy? 
if I click on this, we get some basic metrics. It is dry and the battery is good. So that's it, it's paired and it's ready to go. Now we go into phase two of the test, which is really the fun part of any science experiment is pouring water on things that are electrical. As we set up a little bit for the water test, uh, the Aotech Sensor 6 is a Z-Wave Plus device. It does also have built in a 60 decibel alarm so that if you're not near your smartphone, you will also hear it if you're in the house. Uh, if you have a smartphone, you'll get notifications as well. Uh, so overall, it's um, a great little device. They're not super expensive and you can put them anywhere on a flat floor. So you could put it next to your washing machine and your washer and the laundry. You could put it next to your sink, fridge, anywhere in the kitchen that might uh, potentially get wet. You could put one in the bathroom where there might be a flood there. Uh, you can really put them anywhere where you think that the water surface might, uh, might get wet. And a lot of people put them in their basements and then if you want to level up, you can have it so that your uh, let's say you have a sump pump or a pump sump or a pump in your basement that pumps water out when you get some water ingress happening uh, you can put one of these down there and then connect a smart switch maybe to a pump and say if the smart sensor detects water automatically turn on the pump pretty cool but that's uh, that's only if you have the need for such um, advanced engineering in your basement so let's try this unit I'm gonna pick it up very carefully because it does like to beep when it gets moved around. Nice, good so far. And I'm gonna pour water in this and I normally uh, video alarm videos during the day and I might be a little unpopular in the house because it is evening now and so if this goes off, um, I might get into trouble. Let's see what happens. There's the water. And there's the alarm. Not so loud, shouldn't wake anyone up. that up, dry that off, place it somewhere dry. Now while that was happening my phone also got notifications to tell me that the water sensor had uh, detected moisture and then it, when I dried it and then returned it to a dry place it says that it had returned to normal. So you do have states in this um, that it's possible to work with in relation to if this then that. So that's really it for the Water Sensor 6. It's a very uh, straightforward device to pair and then obviously it's a very effective device at what it does and it really is quite simple. Now what it could save you in the big picture could be quite significant. So obviously I have one I would recommend it to uh, a lot of people who have any of the kind of situations where if you have any water flow or any water overflow uh, that you need to deal with, uh, you might be able to save yourself a little bit on insurance and a lot of pain and suffering uh, in the house if uh, this can get to a flood before it, uh, it gets too serious. That's it, nice and simple. I hope that you like and subscribe because uh, it makes me feel better about myself. Uh, and if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will of course link to uh, everything that I've mentioned in this video. Have a great day, stay safe, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.